Hello, it's me, Flower Child, and I am here, and I am with Sharp as Night and Laramel the Wise and the Telemani Peninsula, and we are doing Fate's Proxy, and we're on the second portal, which is to investigate the Tower of Telrindis, and um, uh, that's where we're going. So I'm going to begin now so enjoy and um thank you for tuning in and viewing me and yeah here the we go. threads of fate draw fate both of draw us both to this place too. proxy tell rendis once the home of a powerful telvani magister named meln the mouthless but now abandoned from what i could ascertain no one knows what happened to the wizard of this tower is that why we're here? To find out what that happened? That has yet to be determined. One of the strands of fate revealed to me converges at this location. More than that, Hermaeus Mora expects us to learn for ourselves. Of the three sites, this one requires that I be on hand to assist you. Why is this place more important than the other two sites? I never said it was more important. Just that fate requires both of us here. More than that, we shall need to determine. I do sense a lingering presence. A connection to Apocrypha. Help me investigate this place and Hermaeus Mora will reward you. I'll help you investigate Telrendis. Where do we start? I wish to survey the tower and its grounds. The threads of fate hang over this place like cobwebs of possibility and consequence. Let us explore the center of the compound and see where those threads take us. Okay, but what can you tell me about the Telvani? The Telvani are one of the great Dunma houses. They focus on magic and the arcane arts, and they consider power, ruthlessness, and ambition to be paramount. We must be careful in our dealings with them, for they are nothing if not dangerous. You mentioned a name. Melon the Mouthless. Yes, but I could not learn much. Just that he owns this tower, but has not been seen in some time. The place is considered abandoned. He was a Telvani Magister, the highest rank in the house, second only to the Arch Magister. What does it mean, though, that he was the Mouthless? Telvani Masters and Magisters avoid undue socializing fearing threats from all directions. So they appoint agents to represent them. Mouths. Meln eschewed the practice, hence they called him Mouthless. I expect his tower to be a fortress. Hmm. Okay. So let me bring up the map first of all and um, just again show you where we are. We're going to go right there. We're going to search the tower grounds. Okay, and now let's bring up the journal entry. Mm -hmm. Fate's proxy. No, we are doing spirit of fate now. And Liramil the Wise met me near the abandoned tower of Rel Rindis. She senses that both of us will be required to learn why Tel Rindis is important to stopping the threat facing Hermaeus Mora's realm and Nern. Liramil suggested heading toward the center of the tower's grounds to see what we can find. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So here we go. Are you ready, Storm? I mean, Sharp? I'm <laughs> listening. Storm. Are you ready to take off? Fine. Only because it's you asking. Well, what am I... I'm not good okay. with feelings. You know that. I like you. I like what we get Aww. up to together. I like that you say that all the time. All right, let's head out. And let's see. I guess we'll probably want to uh, just off-road it. So let's maybe go this way and see what we can find. Dusk Saber's here. Careful, Proxy. These vampire mercenaries opposed us when we searched for the Emerald Glyphic. Oh, okay. I don't know what the Emerald Glyphic is. Oh, 
Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at a chest to start off the day. I love them chests. Oh, come on, come on. Go for me, go for me. Yes. All right, let's see what we got. A lurker dagger, an adamant. Okay, I guess that'll be good. Don't you know? All right, let's head over here. I think the we have to go up messengers. there. The tower's defenses have them well occupied. What are these mercenaries? No, those are friends. Let's see, are these friends? Yes, these are friends. Master Shelready, the tower's defenses continue to oppose us. Melm was thorough, I'll give him that. Any word from the tower? No progress yet. I'll keep you informed. See that you do, Captain. You there, Hello. come forward. Hello. I expected to have Telrendus all to myself today. And you're certainly not one of Captain Zenthus's vampire mercenaries. So, who are you, and why have you come to this tower? I'm Erinella Ande. We heard the place was abandoned. Abandoned, yes, but not without its defenses. Telrendus is a dangerous place, Fla. I advise you not to interfere with the Dusk Sabres. And it seems mm. Meln the Mouthless left Telrendus well protected, as my mercenaries can testify. Meln the Mouthless? Oh, the Telvani Magister who owned this place. He's been missing for decades. The I know old who he is. possessed a book that I very much want to add to my library. Scavenge if you will, as long as you <laughs> understand the book is mine. Now, why are you really here? Well, Hermaeus Mora sent us to investigate this place. Indeed. You don't look like a Daedric cultist. Running errands not. for Daedra is frowned upon in most lands, but I appreciate your honesty. Mm. My dusk sabers are stymied. And Meln warded his tower against other Telvani such as myself. Perhaps you can help. Well, what kind of help do you need? Find a way into the tower and breach Meln's defenses so I can recover the book I seek. You can then attend to your business with the gratitude of a Telvani master. So oh. what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Well, we'll find a way into the tower. I suggest you begin with the old Telrendus Hall to the southwest of this camp. Captain Zenfis reports that his Dusk Sabres are having a difficult time there. If you can succeed where they have so far failed, I will make it worth your while. The Dusk Sabres. <laughs> the Dusk Sabres. Did you hire them to seize Hermaeus Mora's Emerald Glyphic? Hmm. I collect arcane relics, Fla. It's something of an obsession of mine. I send the Dusk Sabres to recover a great many things. A glyphic, you say? I'd have to check my ledger. There are so many items on my list. Well, the Dusk Sabers killed many of Hermaeus Mora's followers to attain that glyphic. Are you sure it was the Dusk Sabers? In my experience, it's hard to tell one vampire from another. It's why I insist that Captain Zenfis wear a name tag. I never tell the Dusk Sabers how to do a job I hire them for. Mercenaries, what can you do? Hmm, tell me a little more about yourself. An appeal to my vanity. How charming <laughs> and clever. We Telvani think highly of ourselves and enjoy sharing. Good. I'm an accomplished mage, as you might guess. And I have more than earned the right to wear a master's hood. In fact, I should be a magister. A magister? The next rank up in the house, which will allow me to challenge the arch magister. I expect to be awarded the rank soon enough. Now, don't you have a tower to break into? Mm-hmm. So, have you seen hidden kindred cultists here, or a Dramora named Torvasar? There are no cultists here. Only okay. my Dusk Sabres and the Defenders Meln the Mouthless left behind. But I'm curious about how you are acquainted with Torvasard. Where did you encounter him? Torvasard worked with the hidden kindred to steal a relic from the Necrom Necropolis. You know him. In some quarters, it's impolite to ask about such things. I'm mm. a Telvani master. I know many Dramora. My dealings with them are not your concern. But if you must know, I had no part in whatever happened in Necrom. Okay. Great. I'll be on my that way then. That bears watching. But the tower remains the crux of our investigation here. 
Let us find a way in. We will. And here's a letter. Uh, Dusk Captain Zinfis. My business at Tilrindis is not quite done. Detach a strong company of Dusk Sabres and establish a camp at the tower. I will join you there. Do not attempt to enter Telrindis until I arrive. Mel the Mouthless set powerful defenses in place that will take time to circumvent. Curse that old fool. And that was written by Master Selrini Barrow. So you see, she's telling the truth, I suppose. All right. Let's uh, head out then. Let me just double check. Oh, see, here's another lore book. A report on the Dusk Sabers. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is a story. Mm -hmm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, and look at here. There is a thieves' trove. I shall take it because I love anything good. Oh yes, you know, always something good. All right. Ah, uh, oh dear. Okay. Um, now we've got to go to investigate the tower of Telrindis. We go here. So, but I want to be sure. Hold on. Let me bring up the quest. Go to Tell Rindy's. Right there. See, it's in a different location. Interesting, don't you think? Investigate the Tower of Tell Rindy's. And then over here, go to Tell Rindy's Hall. Alright, let's go. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> is this... What is that? A dragon? Did a dragon just fly over us? There are dragons here. Look at that. Or whatever. Maybe they're the... Oh. An iron atronach bear. Let the threads of faith restore you. your strength. Let's do this. All right, here we go. This is Telrindy's Hall. Let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awfully dark. It's very dark. A in magical here. ward seals that door. What happened here, mercenary? What happened here? The ward killed my comrade. Not easy to do to a dusk saber. Okay, let me talk to you also. I thought we had little to fear from old tricks and traps. But look what happened to my comrade. Dead as the last swit who stepped out of line across the dusk sabers. Speaking mm. of, who are you and what are you doing here? Master Shelrini sent us to help open a path into the tower. Tell me what happened here. Nalia tried to push through the ward on that door. The note over there suggests that something in this room disarms the trap. Clearly, she guessed wrong. I think this strange lens is part of the puzzle. We found it by the note. A strange lens? What does it here, do? Here, you take it. We obviously weren't able to figure it out. I'll be damned if I try to use it again. If Shoreni sent you, by all means, be my guest. I'm just going to stand back here. I'll see if we can figure out how to dispel the war. Lenses such as that can reveal hidden things. Look for it, Proxy. Okay, so the door leading to the portal in Telrindy's Hall is sealed with the ward of Meln's own creation, a destructive resonance. Dispel switch deactivates the ward. Okay, a dispel switch. So remember, it's dis 
disguised. Use ghost sight lens before touching anything. Banish the cook. I know the plan's poison. Meaning to, to, to encrypt the book. Hide it. Encrypt and hide it. I can't trust anyone. He's a paranoid person. Okay. Now. There is... Let's use the strange lens. Look for anything glowing. That should be the switch to dispel the ward. Look for oh, over here. The ward is gone. Master Shalreni must be informed at once. This is our opportunity. Lead the way, okay. Coxy. Let's go into the portal room. It's all so dark in here. This portal should take us to the tower. Mm. Okay, let me grab what's in these dressers in case it's anything important. This portal you said? Okay. Portal. All right, let's try it. Okay, so... We have reached the lower level of the tower. There should be more portals to take us higher, Proxy. Okay. Let me get rid of this guy. There's a portal right there, but I think that's the one we came up in. Let me finish investigating real quick. What's in here? Just dresser and dresser. Oops. Um. Oh, what's that? Here's stairs. I thought he was mouthless. Ignore it and keep going, Proxy. Okay. Oh gosh, I can't get the jewelry box because it's empty. All right, let's let's go up this way. Okay, here we go. Middle floor. Let's go to the middle floor. There's a dress, a wardrobe. Everything you need that strange. thief and liar, Sir Reddy Barrow! Provoke me at your own risk, intruder! Oh. Interesting. The yes, spirit I seems aware of Master Shell Rennie's attempt to access the tower. Oh. Hold on, let me get rid of my little... It's in my sight. The... Let me get rid of that. Um, okay, let's keep going, I guess, right? I'm gonna have to fight these guys, see? Hmm. I suppose there are stairs, um, oh, right here, maybe? No, we can't go up there. Here are the stairs. As if murdering me wasn't insult oh, enough. That made me now jump. She sent you <laughs> to steal my book. <gasps> oh is my this goodness! Is spirit that... actually Mel the mouthless? Perhaps he is the I... thread that led us here. I do not know, but he's. He made me jump. All right, let's go on up. Prepare to face the fury oh. of Moon the Mouthless, Magister of the Telvani! Or we 
could have a nice chat and discuss this like civilized uh, people. Yes, of if course. If there's one thing I learned in death, it's how foolish the living can be. I know all that passes in my home, intruder. I heard your bargain with that so-called master, Sherani Barreau. You have given my murderer access to my tower. Wait, Master Shelrini murdered you? Why? Why does a Telvani do anything? Ambition, power, greed. Twenty years ago, I stood in Shelrini's path. An obstacle to the higher rank she craved. She requested a meeting. Instead of negotiating, she killed me and tried to steal my prized wow. possession. Wow. Okay, so if you were dead, what stopped her from stealing this possession of yours? Oh, just all the contingencies I had in place. With my last breath, I banished her from the tower and set all the wards and defenses. They mm. held perfectly well, until you mucked everything up. Well... Uh, she'll have no trouble stealing my black book now. Black book? The Tormenting Eye, a tome of forbidden secrets. I see Hermaeus Mora's mark on you and your companion. If you don't know about the Black Books, she can tell you more. <sighs> Shereni Barreau is careless in her pursuit of power. She must not possess my book. What are you asking, Mel? Two things protect my book. The spell of eligibility I cast upon it, and the fact that without my aid, it will take her time to break the spell on her own. Still, I'd rather she never get her hands on it. Stop her, and I'll find a way to reward you. Okay, I need to discuss this with Laramel. The thread becomes clear. Hermaeus Mora sent us to recover the Black Book. The Black Book is mine. And with this soul gem, I also have this miserable spirit. Mel comes with me. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Wow. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I need to talk to Laramil. Laramil. The threads of fate here are tied to three things. Master Shell Rennie, Mel the Mouthless, and the Black Book. Mm. That was the connection to Apocrypha I sensed here. Black Books are creations of Hermaeus Mora and his realm. Tell me more about Black Books. Black Books are relics of Apocrypha. Each holds a different secret. Most are kept in the vast libraries of Hermaeus Mora's realm, but he sometimes gifts one to a mortal. In addition to forbidden knowledge, each serves as a portal to Apocrypha. How many black books are there? That is a secret the one who knows has not yet shared with me. I can count the number of black books I know about on one hand, and each is unique. Only one copy of each book exists. This is the first I have heard of one titled The Tormenting Eye. Okay, so what now? We must free Melm the Mouthless from Master Shelrenny's grasp and retrieve the Black Book. But to do that, we need more information. Look around, Proxy. If Melm was indeed murdered here, there might be proof of Shelrenny's villainy. Okay, let's do it. Let me look. She's gone. There's all kinds of goodies here, though. There's all kinds of books stacked everywhere. Look it, look it. Here's Mel the Mouthless. The body of Mel the Mouthless. It is clear he was murdered at this very spot. Absolutely. This is horrible. Okay, let me see what else I can find. Hmm. 
Um. Oh, here's a letter to the magistrate, Mel Rindes, at the instruction of Shelrini Barrow, Master of Telbaro, I send this letter directly to you, as you still have not appointed a mouth to handle your day-to-day -day affairs. Master Shelrini requests an audience with you at your tower, Telrindes, to take place tomorrow at first light. At this time, she shall present her proposal for finally putting an end to the animosity that has clouded your interactions these past few years. She wishes to prove to you that her intentions are well in keeping with the long-standing traditions of House Telvani that she deserves to be awarded the rank of Magister and would seek your support in that matter. Finally, she would like the opportunity to negotiate a tray or purchase for an item in your, in your possession, an ancient tomb entitled The Tormenting Eye. It is of no use to you, but of great importance to Master Shelrini. She will arrive at your tower tomorrow morning to conclude this business. Bob Drew, Mouth of Master Shelrini Barrow, the Assembly of Masters at Ald Isra. That letter from Master Shelrini's mouth. That meeting must have been when Meln was murdered. Hmm. Okay, so... <sighs> Meln the Mouthless let down his guard and paid the ultimate price. His body has remained here, forgotten and undisturbed for decades, because he preferred solitude above all else. Now Master Shelrenny has both Meln's spirit and his black book. All right, you said you know what we need to do. To recover do. Meln and his black book, you must find Master Shelrenny. And the letter you discovered explains how to do that. Go to the Assembly of Masters at Old Isra and question Shelrenny's mouth, Vabdru. He shall know how to reach her. You no. weren't coming? Here our paths diverge. I leave Mouth Vabdru and Meln in your hands. While you pursue the spirit, I shall research the Black Book and contemplate the other threads of fate. I must determine how this factors into the threat against Apocrypha. What do I do after I locate Master Shelrini? Master Shelrini has trapped Meln's spirit in a soul gem. You must retrieve that gem or destroy it. Go to Old Isra and find Shalreni's aide, Mouth Vadru. He must have an office in the tower called Telvara. And what can you tell me about Old Isra? The Telvani Assembly of Masters meets there. Well, their representatives do. The Masters themselves rarely bother to make an appearance. That is what they have mouths for. You want to go to Telvara. The mouths work out of that tower in Old Isra. Why don't the Telvani masters attend their own assembly? The masters leave day-to-day -day concerns to their mouths. Their own arcane <laughs> studies are far more important to them. <sighs> and they try to avoid direct interaction with their rivals whenever possible. The fate that befell Meln is not an uncommon one. Yes, I guess not. Okay, I'll do what I need to do. This portal leads outside. You must travel you. to Old Isra from there. Defenses around Tel Hulin play havoc with portal magic. All right. Farewell. All right. So let's look at our map, shall we? Okay, so that's where we're going. What's this? All right. Now let me bring up the quest. Go to Telvara in Ald Isra. And want to double check oh we're going to yes exactly okay all right sharp let's go down to the road 
see the best way to ride. Yeah, we're just going to go up here. Two-thirds of work is just looking busy. It's not easy, but you have <laughs> to do it. Otherwise, they'll find something for you to do. Oh my gosh, well, you're just standing there. You're not looking busy at all. All right, here's Tilbar. My master wants you to convey this message to Master Shelrene. The assembly will not tolerate threats or coercion. These rumors disturb the other masters. Shell Rennie must moderate her ambition before the assembly takes action. I will relay your concerns to Master Shell Rennie. Oh, it sounds like a Count Dracula mouth. Forget what you heard, stranger. Master Shell Rennie cares not what the other masters think of her, or how difficult she makes things for me. So, what brings you to Telvara, the tower of the Telvani mouths? I need to talk to Master Shelrini. Where can I find him? Master Shelrini never comes to Aldisra. Telvani masters rarely do. I expect she is at her tower, Telbaro, but I would be a poor mouth indeed if I let you pester her at home without asking what business you have with her. Hmm. Don't you recognize me? I was assisting Master Shalrini at Tel Rindy's. She's waiting for my report. Ah. Master Shalrini doesn't discuss her work with me. Very well. Take the Telbaro insignia from my office. You'll need it to unlock the wards. Otherwise, you'll never get through the cavern to reach the tower. She takes security quite seriously. Mm, I'll go get that insignia now. My office is through the north door and the insignia is behind my desk. Use it to unlock the wards in the cavern or you'll never reach the tower. Telbaro is hard to find. Look for the cavern of the tower east of Old Isra. The tower uh, is inside. What, what exactly does a mother do? We tend to the affairs of the assembly on behalf of the masters we represent. Master Shelreni mm. is far too important to waste her time in matters of house business. All the masters are. So we mouths make sure routine matters never trouble them. Okay, do you let just anyone meet with Master Shelreni? The better question is, do I think you are an assassin? Or do I even care? Oh. If you aren't, there's no danger. If you are, well, Master Shelreni can protect herself. Beyond that, mm. I'm not sure my master and I are still on the same path. Oh, what is... Oh, very good. Interesting. Okay. Let me go to his office. Hey, did you like my little uh, accent? Oh, look at it. Is that a... It is? Is that a lore book right there? No. Yes, it is. Ranks and titles of House Telvani. Slaves, hirelings, retainers... Oathman, Lawman, Spellwright, Mouth. And then it has a lot about the mouth. Wizard, Masters, Ortators, Magisters, Archmagister. Hmm. Well, well. Quite an array, wouldn't you say? Gosh, everything's picked over. Who's been here? Who's been here already? What's in here? Hmm. See, I'm hitting all the... Oh, nice! Lots of recipes in here that I, I know I don't have. Because this is a new realm for me. So let me uh, check things out. And that's another lore book discovered. I like these little alcoves. Hmm, 
I love that crystal. Oh, I just took it. It's a soul gem. That's very fortuitous. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Look. A dresser. Moonstone. Oh, I love Moonstone. All right, let's go to his his office. Oh, there's lots of things in here. <gasps> there's a mouth Bab Drew's journal. Let's look at it. Mm -hmm. More trouble, more trouble, as I feared. I received more bills. Mm -hmm. Still no response. At last a reply. Oh, how I wish I was in league with any other master at this point. Okay, he really doesn't like her. So that's kind of good. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's a letter to mouth Vab Dru. I must say I was disappointed by your last letter. A mouth must keep the politics of Ald Isra from interfering with their master's more important work. If I must address the frivolous concerns of my rivals, what purpose do you serve? If they continue to insist that I am in fact doing something wrong, which is impossible under Telvani customs and traditions, then have them call for a conclave. Once that occurs, I will deal with my rivals once and for all in the meantime do better if you disappoint me again i'll skin you alive and turn you into a fur-lined cloak master shall Rennie borrow she's a witch a witchy witchy poo let's see here's the insignia that i'm going to need let's check the bookshelves oh nice recipe let's check this one Oh, Arxes and Oma. <laughs> and this one, A Feast Among the Dead, Chapter 1. Oh, all right. Okay. We have to go to Telbaro Cavern. Let's see where that is. Okay. It's right there. And where's that? Tilbaro Cavern. Ah, it's way up there. Hmm. I'm going to drop by that. And I really want to get that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Why now you look busy. Attack our own people in Salfora. It's madness. I tracked mud all over the floor Norris was cleaning. If he finds out it was me, he'll make sure I wake up in the Kaguti nests. Well, you're doing a good job sweeping. Continue. All right, let's head out. Okay, I I had another quest that um, I want to complete. Let's look at that real quick. It was Tracing Shadows. I learned of a spy inside Alda Isra's Telvani Council from a dark elf named Fulsi. The spy's identity needs to be uncovered before the leak can get plugged. Fulsi gave me a letter and a phrase that will identify me to her dark elf contact. I should go find the contact under a green mushroom inside the Telhoven Tower in Alda Isra. Any delay is unacceptable. We hired the Morag Tong to deal with this problem. Bellow all you want. It won't change my process. Outrageous! How dare you- Master Phobes, a word, if I may. Hmm, hello? Well, look what the Nixox dragged in. What are you doing here, hero? <laughs> are you following me again? Seriously, yes. what brings you to this house of 
arrogance and whining. Well, both light and shadow can be deadly. Though only one chases the other. All right, it's obvious Volsi sent you and she gave That's you the true. code of a courier. That tells yes. me you have something for me. Go on then. Hand it over. Volsi gave me this letter, said you'd pay well to get it. She was being followed and led them away. Volsi can fend for herself. Right now, I need to see if she learned anything to point me to the true identity of my target. To Desim, the name on the writ is an alias. Interesting. Mm. According to Fossi, House Drez established a camp to the south. Is that Fossi important? seems to think so. Since you want to get paid, how about you help me out? I need oh, to assassinate always. a spy and tell Hulan. But to do that, I need to figure out who actually deserves my blade. It's quite mm. legal. I have a Morag Tong writ of execution. What's a writ of execution? A binding document that gives me the authority to eliminate the name on the writ. We figure out who Tridesim actually is, I finish the job, you get paid, and we go home. Not together, necessarily. Depends on my mood. So, what do you say? Sure. I'll help you figure out who Tridesim is. Congratulations, you're my new foci. First, go to the servants' quarters to the west and ask Akigo about the spy. Then visit the Drez camp to the south and see if they have any connection to this Tridesim. I need to keep watch here, just in case. Okay. But first, how have you been, are you? Ah, oh, hero. If we had a bottle of wine and all the time in the world, the stories I could tell you. But I really want to complete this writ and then wash the stink of the Talvani out of my hair. Can we mm. catch up later, please? Yes, but do you want to talk about Veya? Now is not the time, hero. Distractions can lead to a blade in your back, or worse, All right. to one in mine. Concentrate on the mission. Let me do my job, then we can talk. Okay, anything else I should know to help you determine Trace true identity? You mean other than the fact that I have a writ for someone named Tredesim who apparently doesn't exist? That House Drez has a nearby camp? Or that I want you to question a servant named Akigo? Which of those would you like me to spell out for you? <laughs> well, where did you get the it name? It was part of the writ, provided by whichever scribe the masters had contact the Morag Tong. But since no one here knows anyone with that name, it must be an alias. Believe me, when I figure out who took out the writ, I plan to ask them about that. Okay, so why is the house Dreas camp important? Because Fosie thought me knowing about it was important enough to involve you. House Drez True. controls the land far to the south, near the Black Marsh border. Them setting up a camp near here could be coincidence, but it's worth checking out. And why do you want me to talk to Akigo in particular? Akigo is a contact I cultivated the last time business brought me out this way. For a minor servant, he excels at avoiding notice and absorbing everything that happens in town. He'll only help if it's safe. He knows what the Talvani do to traitors. Okay, I've asked enough questions for Are now. Are you sure? Don't want to ask about my favorite beverage, <laughs> how I look so good without any effort, or which screw I favor in tonight's race? Oh, God. God. Then let's get to work, hero. We have a spy to identify. Okay, let's do it. No, so, so now I'm out of patience. We need this finished now. Master Foves, calm yourself. This solves nothing. Come, Gito. Leave the hireling to her work. Yes, Master Foves. Well, unlike Foves, I am at your service should you require anything. All right. Now, I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with our quest. The Spirit of Fate. And return. What's this? Talk to the servants. Yes. Okay. Well, we will do that. See, there's quite a few things we're going to be doing. I want to go. What is this all about, though? Hmm. 
We're going quite a distance, aren't we? Let's see, are we getting close? Not much farther to go. Okay. Um, okay, let's go this way. Oh, there's a bridge right there. I should have gone across the bridge, but I didn't. Well. Oh, I don't want to go there. There's a one of those things that break into their... Okay, I'll show you. It might kill me. Together, it breaks... You got it. It breaks into three. Got to be better than that to stop us. See, there it goes. Oh my god, and all these things come up. Oh, shit. Oh, see, this is, I think, one of those Bastion Nimic things. I mean, like, a nightmare. Oh. Wow, thank you. Oh, I got it. Wow. Okay, how far? I'm going right up here. Hello everyone, hello. You could craft okay. something nice with that. I could, couldn't I? Okay, we're going into this Telbaro cavern now. And um We're coming in here, and let's see what we have to do. It's like a delve, I think. I think this is like a delve. Let's see. I've got to go all the way down there. All right. Going the right way, I guess. What's that? It's like a brain. Okay, um, let's keep going. Got to be better than that to stop us.
Hello, recruit. This is pretty insane. I think we have to go here. What are those? Examine the orders. Dusk Sabers. Master Shelrini has entered a new arcane barrier toward the entrance to the Tower of Telbaro. Remain vigilant as these wards are temporary until she has time to conjure something more permanent and durable. Note, only those of you authorized to enter the Tower, of which there are precious few, will need a Telbaco insignia to temporary unlock the wards long enough to gain entry without an insignia. Approach the Tower entrance at your own risk. The four locks are situated throughout the tower cavern. Okay, well, I, don't I have one? Okay, so I have to go to these wards. Hmm. Okay. So there are four wards, we have to go to each and we have to destroy them. And monsters rise up and try to prevent us. Okay, Who's better there's than us? One down. Nobody. Let's unlock that ward. Okay, that one's done. I know. We are pretty darn good. Okay, let's go to this one. Now it's up here, I think. Oh, look it. It's another monster. A storm astronaut. Down with you. Down with you. Go away. All right, gone now oh that's what that is it's the ward we have to unlock okay now we're going to number three uh number three is going to be down here see it right there floating i already see it where's the monster where's the monster this one's too easy There's no monster for this one. Okay, that was easy. And then number four, we're going down this way. You know, some of this stuff is pretty gross looking. You're an iron atronach. You're mean. You're mean. No. All right, you're dead. Let's get this fourth ward. All right, now we can enter the tower. All right, let's go and enter the tower. Do 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 da 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 da. You know we can't listen to any music. I mean we can, but mostly not, without getting a mark against us for listening to copyright music. Oh, here we are. Somebody has been a oh, a mean dog, a mean dog, mean dog. You better, children. We need the right hidden within the tormenting eye, or else all is for naught. Got to be up here. Mm. 
I guess we have to go up here. Somebody's already ransacked this place. No fair. No fair. Okay, here's correspondence. Master Shelrini, your efforts in Alabaeus have been noticed and appre appreciated. Soon we will have a door into Apocrypha that even the great eye will not see. Blythe Crown and his hidden kindred are personally handling the situation in Necrom. I can safely say we will soon have the relic and the door into the realm of knowledge and secrets. Notify me as soon as you acquire the black book and attain the right. Remember, everything must be ready at the proper time. The princes stand ready to assist you in dealing with your rivals as soon as the last arrangements are completed. Torvasard. Okay, Torvasard. You're kind of... You're kind of... A wicked person, I think. All right, let's go up here Tell and see. Princes, I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I expect them to uphold theirs. More bad dogs. Bad dog, bad dog. I am the dog whisperer. You will not hurt me or my companions. Oh, look at Here's a soul gem. We'll take that. And jewelry. We'll take that bookshelf. We've got lots of jewelry boxes sitting around in here. Hmm. I like jewelry boxes. Okay, anything here we need? An urn. More bookshelves. I love all the floating books. Mm. Alright, up, up. Up. Going to the Sanctum. I have no sanctum Sanctorium. You will give me access to the Black Book when I return, or else. Over here! Quickly, before Shell Reddy comes back! All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello, I Melon. See you were able to follow the clues I left in my tower. Yes. But you took your sweet time. Mm, I can't sorry. defy Shenreni much longer. If we're going to get out of here and keep me from complying with that lying murderer, you must do exactly as I say. What do you? What do you need me my to do? My spirit is bound to the soul gem Shenreni used to capture me. Disentangling the connection will require more time and expertise than you have. How so do you simply know? take the gem and leave without me. She may never be able to unlock my black book. <laughs> Where's she already the black took the book? black book with her, but without oh. my help, she'll have to unriddle it page by page. The labor of days or weeks, not hours. If she can even accomplish it, she's too fond of the easy path to power. It will be her undoing someday. What does Master Shell really need? For the she book? doesn't need it at all. She's in league with a Dramora, Torvasard, and a pair of Daedric princes. There's apparently a right contained within the book they want her to cast. In return, they'll give her what she wants. Control of House Telvanni. I'll get the soul gem. Can you hear All me? All right. I with can the hear you. Possession, I can come and go as I please. Now use that portal and let's go. All right, where's the portal? What portal? This portal? This will do nicely. Let's discuss our arrangement, my chariot of flesh and bone. 
Okay. Being dead and incorporeal isn't how I plan to spend eternity. But being with you is a thousand times better than remaining in Sharenia's clutches. And we delayed uh, her plans for my black book. Now, okay. tell me about your dealings with Hermaeus Mora. Alright, Hermaeus Mora chose me to help save a pro... I can't say these words. Apocrypha and Nern from opposing Daedric Princess. So, end of the world stuff. Yes. Well, that's something interesting at least. Obviously, you're going to need the help of a Telvanni Magister. Luckily, you have me. Let me conjure Luckily, up a I small reward for my old vault. A stipend for services rendered. Oh, thank you. And a skill point. How sweet. Now, mind you keep my gem on you at all times. I can't help okay. you save the world or advise you on matters of import if I'm not on your person. Unless I manifest, only you can hear me. Oh, and I can lend you certain abilities, such as my ghost sight. Advise me about what? Remember, I was a Telvanni Magister. Still am, as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. And Shelreni. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Well, it is. Why did Master Shelreni murder you Once, again? Once, long ago, I was her mentor. But I recognized a darkness in her. And not the usual Telvanni traits. Uh, she was reckless. Dangerous. I refused to sponsor her advancement beyond the rank of master. And she coveted my black book. Mm. So, she killed me. Tell me about Ghost Sight. It's an improvement on the ocular lens you used in my tower. I created a spell to produce the same effect without any need of a crude focus. Turns out, it works even better now that I'm dead. Better? What do you mean? My black book, The Tormenting Eye, contains many secrets. Ghost Sight was one of them. With it, I can expand your senses, allow you to see the hidden, the imperceivable, the unseen. Wow. I have no doubt it will prove important in the tasks ahead of us. You said you'd advise me about Remember, that. Remember, I was a Telvanni Magister. Still am, as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. Wow. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. And okay. Shelley. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Well, yes. it is. Okay. Why did Master Shelreni... Oh, I already asked you that. I don't need to know again. Well, thank you. Tossed in your pack? I expect you to find a nice <laughs> silk pouch for my gem at the first opportunity. Now, let's be off. All right, all right, all right. We all discovered right. much here and gained a valuable ally, even though Master Shelreni took possession of the Black Book. One more thread of fate to investigate, Proxy. Take this portal and see where it leads. Okay. It leads us to the portal to Alavellis. And I'm going to head there and then... That will be the end of our day today. You're really going to have to carry around that. Mortal, why don't you bear the mark of the great eye? <laughs> All right, my friends, you can see we are beginning yet another chapter. Let me get rid of my little guy for a second. These little flapping beasts. I don't... I okay so i want to share with you that here we are once again we're entering the final portal of fate's proxy to investigate and uh, i'll be doing that soon <laughs> recruit you can go on without me rabano i need to end here so thank you all for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your day this is flower child and as always follow me follow me follow me thank you bye for now see you soon